in this video I will be looking at um, how you can use cascading style sheet to uh, change the appearance of your web application I know some of you are very smart people have been thinking about uh, uh, themes and why we are using the skin files I mean uh, CSS is um, usually the best way to is usually the you know the best options to use um, um, uh, the skin file can be used to change the appearance of your control but the CSS can be used to change the appearance of your controls some of your controls and also uh, the HTML tags for example if we want to modify the uh, appearance of the h1 tag the adding tag and then um, we is is uh, best to use the CSS in this case and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can combine both uh, the skin files and the um, CSS to modify the look and feel of your website um, I've taken the liberty to <coughs> create an entire new application here because uh, the last application is getting bloated so um, um, I've had it to I've added a theme file, I mean a theme folder and I've created this uh, uh, blue control so I only had the uh, <coughs> definition for the text box and the button and also I created the green controls the only difference is the back color uh, which I've changed to green here and light green there and you know so <coughs> for example let's see if we check what the blue theme looks like uh, this is the this is the current look of our web application which has no theme applied so if I change uh, to the source view and had uh, if I had a theme to be um, theme equals to blue uh, blue theme uh, if we preview that we get the blue theme and uh, because the reason why I'm showing you this is because in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to apply these two themes dynamically as you can see now we have the blue theme now if I change uh, to green theme here uh, we can see that we have the green theme applied to our controls so now let's look at how you can use CSS to modify uh, like you can see now we have the um, because before I show you the source code of our web page I'm going to create uh, a cascading style sheet in this uh, blue theme style sheet I'll just leave the name as it is as default name and uh, I'm going to add uh, two two uh, styles in here I'm going to change the background color of the um, background color I'm going to change it to silver of the HTML document itself and uh, now that's all I'm going to do and I'm going to include only one another option another style which is the for the input and that's going to be background color I'll change the background color of the input don't worry if you don't know what the input is now I'll show you I'll change that to um, let's change that to what color yellow there this is yellow this time and uh, border you get the intelligence to help you in this case as well so uh, you don't have to worry about if you can remember everything uh, let me use uh, solid two pixels and uh, color is black so what I'm trying to do is instead of using uh, a style so I'm going to remove the style from our web page let's go back to our default.aspx and I'm going to remove this theme at the top uh, yes let me just remove the theme for the time being so right now we're not applying any theme to our web page so if we look at uh, let me go back to the CSS and um, okay so just like I said I don't know if I've told you before if you see this asterisk on top of your uh, off top of a window it means it says it has not been saved so if I click on the save button it disappears okay so, so if we run our application now we can see that there's no uh, appearance there's no CSS uh, let's so yeah there's no CSS or uh, skin file being applied to this page at the moment so what we can do is now apply this uh, CSS style sheet how do you do that if you go to your default ASPX inside the editing tag 
and you have to place your CSS uh, link inside your editing tag um, that would be if you're linking to a CSS file so all you have to do is just drag this inside your head page so just drag and drop it and as you can see it has created a nice um, uh, reference for us inside the you know reference in the link tag so um, <coughs> right now our application is actually being linked to the CSS file so you, if you know CSS very well you can just write all your CSS here and um, you'll be good to go so now if we go back to our default ASPX let's save it and let's run the application we will see that this has been applied to our page and as you can see we did not reference anything like button as you can see we have the uh, page has been turned to silver and uh, the label has a yellow background and the button has a yellow ground but why do they have a yellow background even though we didn't mention anything like um, a button or a text box so I'll, I'll show you if we go to the source of code you can see that the uh, ASP.NET server renders button as you know as input and uh, as you can see it says input type equals to submit name equals to button one value equals to button as you can see same thing for text box so input name equals to text box type equals to text ID equals to so that means if you know what the if you know what the HTML is going to render your um, control has if you know what the server sorry if you know what the server renders the controls so for example let's try let's try drag and drop a calendar onto our page so let's imagine that we don't have let's cut this let's cut this part let's imagine that we don't have this in there and we just uh, uh, put a calendar on our page so if we have a calendar there let's run our application and see what a calendar is renders as if we know what a calendar is rendered as so that's a calendar now if you go to the source view we should see that uh, the calendar is rendered as a table as you can see this whole garbage <laughs> we have a table here ID equals to calendar one so that means you can you have all this table tag you see table and uh, table row table header and all those um, we have a lot of JavaScript going on inside this table and you see at the end is a table that is being closed so that is what represents so a table is what represents our so that means you can use the table you can use the table uh, style in your style sheet and use that to modify the calendar so you can have it uh, calendar table class or ID that you can use to modify the calendar um, the calendar how it's being rendered to the user interface so if you ask me which one is the best option to use to use a CSS or to use a, uh, a, a um, skin file I would say the best answer is to use both um, usually what I do is I use uh, the skin file to control um, things like table I mean things like calendar sorry things like calendar usually is um, uh, any controls that is being provided by Microsoft um, I usually use this skin file to modify the look and feel because it's easy for me to do because I'm not very good at uh, very good at CSS but all other tags like h1 tag um, link uh, link tags and you know all the uh, a anchor 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 text uh, what else like the um, div tags I usually you know the div tags all those things that are very very obvious that um, is everyday HTML that will be writing inside my ASP.NET application I use the CSS to modify those and um, I use uh, um, the skin file to modify things like text box and buttons but be aware that I mean be aware that uh, if your skin, skin file is very large it's gonna have a, a have an impact on the performance of your application so um, you want to make sure that you use the skin file very less so if you know your CSS if you don't know CSS if you drop me a line I'll teach you a little bit of <laughs> even though I said I'm not really good at it <laughs> but I'm sure I still know you know CSS more than some people so just drop me a line and uh, we'll look into doing some CSS uh, tutorials thank you